Hey guys, Lee Calvert here with the Oxford Street Partners real estate team at the Hassan Company. Welcome to our 2021 review. What are we gonna go through? We're gonna talk a little bit about the team that was formed, the Oxford Street Partners. We're gonna talk about what happened in the real estate industry in Southwest Washington for 2021. What are we thinking is gonna happen for 2022? We're gonna talk about businesses in 2021. What did we see, the new additions? We're gonna talk about 2022. What are we not gonna see? What are we gonna be seeing? as a future addition to the offerings in the area. And then we'll wrap up with just a little bit of a, an idea of what to expect content-wise from the team this year. All right, let's power up. Oh, that's good. That's so good. Yorkshire Gold. All right, 2021 for the Oxford Street Partners real estate team that was formed with myself and Harvey Koika as a business partner with Erica Duncan as our assistant. And new addition, Isabel Abbott Salas, who uh, speaks multiple languages, which me and Harvey don't. So a great addition to the team. She's a Vancouver resident, so she knows the area really well. Excited to have her on board. Um, I'm already going off track with the uh, planned itinerary here. Anyway, 2021, what did we see in the uh, real estate market? Well, we actually saw the most sales in Clark County that we've seen for over a decade. I didn't really go that far beyond that. But how do we get most sales when all you're hearing is it's a low inventory market? Well, the inventory is there. It's just getting absorbed by everyone that's trying to move into the area, whether it's in resale or new construction. Um, the sales are there. You just don't see them stay on the market long enough to increase the amount of listings that remain on the market. Now, more information is going to be coming up on the screen statistically where you can actually see a little bit of comparison between 2021 and the last two years, 2020, 2019. Now, sales outside of residential sales, 355 land sales for Clark County, where people have gone to likely buy the property to build on. Um, there was 135 multifamily sales. That's two to four units, anything more than four units then pushes it into the commercial side. We don't do a lot of commercial work, but we have great partners in that side of the business should you need a good contact. Um, why is it important to look at land and multifamily? A lot of the statistics you see will not include those in there. Uh, the average sale for Clark County in 2021, I was pulling up as $553,990. The average time on the market for 2021 was about 20 days. Now, if, you've got, if your property is worth buying, most things actually go within one to four days, but in 20 days is gonna be including some new construction um, listings that have a, um, a, a leading property that leads you in to then go and buy something else, or it includes some those outlying properties out in the distance or luxury properties that really shouldn't be luxury. Uh, speaking of luxury, there was 374 sales over a million dollars in Clark County in 2021. I remember doing this in 2016, I think there was like 70. And so I uh, just found incredible to see those numbers. The highest sale in Clark County for 2021, 4.62 million for an eight plus thousand square foot behemoth house in Ridgefield, 4.62 million. And the, the penthouses down at the Kirkland condominiums at the waterfront, the penthouses are like three to four million. So uh, just a, a, a change in pricing in the area, especially that average price point, 553,000, just, just absolutely incredible. Now, businesses, well, real estate market for 2022, we kind of see a lot of the similar things happening. Interest rates are starting to creep up again, but demand is still there. We get calls every week for people moving to the area, wondering what are they gonna buy, how are they gonna buy, and uh, we are certainly trying to find things on and off market to fulfill those needs. If you're looking to sell, biggest thing for you right now is making sure you have a moving plan. Please do not put your house on the market without a plan of where you're gonna go. Uh, a number of those came to us last year and um, thankfully we helped them, but man, just plan, just plan, plan, plan. All right, 2021, what do we see come to Clark County? Uh, the Vancouver waterfront, we saw the DeSalis Latin Kitchen Bar come, which was a fantastic addition to the uh, the scene for the Couve. Uh, the Yard Milkshake Bar turned up. We had a number of people very excited for, for their arrival. And Cafe X, uh, the uh, coffee shop opened up. 
enjoy a lot of time there. And um, that was one I was forgetting on in a previous video. Um, at the, you go, go along, the water, along the river to Tide Water, you've got the Cove, a fantastic new addition as well. I think anything waterfront, I'm a big fan of. I don't really know why the waterfront hasn't been uh, pushed uh, historically anyway. Uh, you head up 117th, you've got a new Taco Bell, new 7-Eleven, new Miller paint. Oh, Mil yeah, Miller. And um, a new uh, Starbucks. Um, you head into Battleground, you've got a new health clinic. Um, there's obviously a ton of construction going on. New tradition homes, generation homes, Holt homes, Aho homes. Head over to Ridgefield. They've just finished the, um, the flyover from downtown Ridgefield to the new landing area where there's rumblings of a new waterfront development that could be going on there in the future, which would be a huge addition, not only for Ridgefield, but the county. Um, come back south a little bit, at Vancouver Mall, round one moved in and opened up in 2021. The entertainment space, bowling, pool, arcades, uh, pretty fun area. Next to that, Chick-fil-A opened, Five Guys opened, so now you don't have to go to the east side for Chick-fil-A, you've got one, central Vancouver. Um, head up to A, &A. they finished building their parking lot. Heading into 2022, what are we going to see? Well, we're going to see A, &A start to construct the hotel. Uh, we've got the uh, El Gaucho restaurant at the waterfront that's going to be built in the Hotel Indigo that should be ready by spring. The Marriott next door should be open as well. It's two hotels at the waterfront coming next year. Um, there's a new company coming to the Port of Camus and was Shugal, United Precision Corp. Um, and that's all I had for 2022 additions. Uh, what are we not going to see? Two things that are close to me that I think uh, I could take a minute of silence for them. Uh, Christine's, Christine's um, Cafe. Now, my mum's called Christine. Whenever Christine comes over, we go to Christine's, have breakfast. Uh, man, we've had, we had business meetings there, buy consultations there, many breakfasts there. Just such a fantastic place. That one's gonna be a miss. And then Vancouver Pizza Company in Uptown has gone. Uh, really enjoyed uh, their offerings. He was just had this like uh, uh, almost this curry based pizza uh, that was uh, so different. You can't really couldn't really find it elsewhere. Really really good. Um, all right, what to expect from Oxford Street Partners in 2022? Well, we're gonna be uh, introduce getting more of the team on camera. You're not just gonna see just this guy anymore. Harvey's gonna be on there. Isabel's gonna be on there. Erica, with a little bit of a push, is gonna be on there as well. We're gonna make sure that everyone's on there. You get to meet the team more, get to know the personalities more. I'm um, gonna be obviously keeping informed about neighborhoods, about market stats, about development in the area, as well as additional content that we might be suitable throughout the year. And if you have a suggestions of things that you'd wanna see, definitely do not hold back. Make sure we know about it. Head to OxfordStreetPartners.com. There's a little message board on there. Well, not message board. You can submit a message. It will come straight to us, and we can say take that into account. Obviously, you probably all have our numbers anyway. And um, yeah, hopefully, 2022 is just uh, another <clears throat> fantastic year for the county. Hopefully, uh, we're gonna see a lot more residents moving to the area, new businesses coming to the area. Probably a less of a reliance on having to go to Portland for offerings. More things being in in Clark County. But in the meantime, hope you have a fantastic 2022. Hope this video was helpful for you in one way or another, or just, I don't know, any level of entertainment whatsoever. But um, thank you again for following our content. Thank you again for introducing us to people who you think is worth being introduced to. Uh, that means so much. And I, I don't really re regard them or call them referrals. We just want introductions. Um, and uh, just to, you know, hopefully help someone out whenever they feel ready. Anyway, thank you again. See you in February. Take care.